Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 10 of the Leco Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about today's palm. Um, it's an easy palm, it seems like, so we should be doing okay. Uh, I am here now in Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, flying out of this place tomorrow. Uh, we're sitting downtown, it was pretty fun. Uh, I'll probably put up a video at some point. I should have recorded an intro for this. I I haven't traveled in a while, so I forgot about these things. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so that's the, the, I always mention a little bit when I change locations because the background changes and stuff. So, okay, so let's take a look at today's poem, 1051 Height Checker. A school is trying to take an annual photo of all the students. The students are asked to stand in a single file line in non-decreasing order by height. Let this ordering be represented by an integer where expected, where expected sub i is the expected height of the i student in line. You're given an, an integer where height representing the current order uh, that the students are standing in. Each height sub i is the height of the i student in line. We turn the number of indexes where height sub i is not equal to expected sub i. Okay. I read all that. I, I have no idea what I just read, but let's actually interpret it. So I had to plug in my, my laptop for power. Now I have more power, I guess. Put all the power to you. Okay. So what does this mean? Heights and expected. Is the expected, are they this sorted? Is that what that means? Oh yeah, non-decreasing order. Du, 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 and it is some matching. So okay. So you just count the number of things that don't match, right? Is that it? So pretty straightforward, really, right? So um yeah so then maybe you could have something like expected as you go sorted heights and then now for h d in uh sip of heights how did uh expected and then you know count equals zero if if h is not equal to e count increment and then that's it but right? pretty straightforward it is an easy problem after all and I think I've said that before and then made mistakes, so hopefully not today. Uh, yeah, it seems like the digging uh, of oh, 15, 32 days, nice. Um, I, would, I mean, they didn't have daily problems five years ago, so I don't think, um, I don't know. I, it just seems like I've been doing all these problems from five years ago anyway. Anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, what, what the complexity here, this is going to end log n because of the sorting. Can I do a little bit better? I guess. Because you can see that height sub i is 100, so you could do a linear sort if you really want to do something funky, I suppose. But I don't care about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, I don't know, it is what it is. It's a non-comparison based thing. You can abuse it if you really like. But yeah, it's going to be n log n, and then o of, uh, and o of n space because we do sort them, right? And then we do a comparison. Can I do better? I don't know. I think this is fine though. Um, I mean, it is easy, and yeah, that's all I have for this one. I'll do an extra bonus problem after this, so stay tuned. But uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later, and take care. Bye bye.